Christ, that may be a giant mass school of fish. Holy crap, hold on. Whole screen of fish. I'm not even joking. There's even more. There's like 20 feet of fish. There's 20 feet of fish. No way. Dude, I can't control my excitement right now. These are all fish. Ooh, it's a, it's a nice fish. Big? Yeah, big. Pulling drag. Before this video starts, make sure you guys go check out our last video, because in the last video we had a giveaway. So we're doing a little bit of a change to that giveaway. It's a good change. Now, we, instead of getting two $50 gift cards away, we are giving two $50 and two $25 gift cards away. So there's gonna be four winners now. So make sure, so make sure you guys go check out that last video, read the description, and watch that video and enter. Hey guys, it's JD Outdoors in here, and today, well, it's 50 degrees, so clearly everything's starting to melt. It's getting closer to the end of the season, and yeah, we're just going out to hopefully catch some nice crappie or bluegill. That's that's our main goal for today. So we're we're not we're not even taking a quad or anything. We're just we have a small sled with a pop up tent, and yeah, it's very slushy out there. So that's why we didn't take the quad. Yeah, hopefully the fish bite. It's a warm weather. Could be better. <laughs> Guys, we almost lost our pen optics. There we go. Pen optics sitting there. Thank God no one took it. Oh. My feet are soaked. Good thing we didn't lose our pen optics. Oh, now for the walk back. Across the lake. That's not a fun walk. Okay guys, now it's time to find the fish. Okay. Oh, you missed him. You saw it? Yeah, he's still down there, he's still down there. Oh, he's even big. Coś, to ja rzucam telefon i wyciągam ją, ok? To może być szczupak albo coś. Dobra, kochani, czekajcie chwilę. O, bass! A bass, guys! No to wiesz, teraz pięknie poszedł. Pokaż go. Dawaj tutaj żółwika. Zajebista go. Tak. Can you take a picture from you real quick? Tak, już poczekajcie. There we go, you guys. Nice two pound, two pound, three pound bass. Yeah, that's a nice bass. Yeah, his mouth. Hey, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad. I can fish like this all day. I was expecting a crappie or something, but no, a bass is like, no, nah, I'm gonna take your jig. If you guys are curious in what I'm using. I am using a white, like, polka dotted j tungsten jig to pop the wax worm. And that's what I just caught the bass on.
Well, guys, I don't know what's up with me and bass today, but I just caught another bass. <laughs> this is a nice bass, another nice bass too, right in the top of the mouth. Here we go. Gotta get this release on him. So what I'm doing, I'm just pretty much taking my mark, my markum, going from hole to hole, seeing if there's a fish on the bottom. If there's a fish on the bottom, I stay there, jig for it, and catch it. That's what I've been doing every hole. Well, for the first few holes, I just sat there and jigged, nothing came up. But now, if I don't see a fish on the bottom, there's no point in staying there. Either that's a school of fish, or... Jesus Christ, that may be a giant mass school of fish. Whole screen of fish. I'm not even joking. These are all fish. Fish on. <laughs> Let's find out what these things are. Massive bluegill. <laughs> oh my god. This thing is the 10 inches. Another one. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. Holy crap. Oh, he's stuck on a transducer. Another. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Another. I'll compare the size of my hand to him. He's like two times bigger than my hand. This is crazy. Gosh, and there's like 50 of them down there. My whole screen is red. <laughs> Another fish, you guys. <laughs> this is a crazy. Another <laughs> giant bluegill. Oh my god. <laughs> That's three. These are, these are the, honestly the biggest bluegill I've seen. Dude. I don't know how I found this spot, but I'm glad I did. At first I thought that was, like, that, that can't be fish. There's no way that can be fish. But I'm, I'm not even playing you. There's like, I don't even know, there's like 10 feet of fish. <laughs> I just dropped it down, you guys. <laughs> Another giant bluegill. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> He's got that wax ring. Oh no, don't go in the hole. I don't even know where to put my jig. Like, where do I put it in the school? Got one. There you go. Oh no. My transducer fell all the way in. No other giant bluegill. <laughs> Dude. I don't even know what to say. Oh, he had his mouth. He probably just had the wax on his mouth. What? Oh, he came so fast on the bottom, he took my jig off. He really, like, scared the jig. <laughs> or not. I was gonna say they're being very cautious. But I guess not. Oh, he's stuck on the ice. <laughs> Another nice bluegill. <laughs> There we go. Oh, another nice blue guy on that jig. <laughs> oh, 
came off. Dang. There we go. This one's smaller. This one might not be a keeper. Wait, maybe it maybe can be. No, he's, he's small. He's still a big one, but smaller than these. Half the size, it's still as big as my hand is. Got him. This one's another small fish. Not even worth paying the transducer up for him. Oh wait, maybe not. Huh. No, he's a little small. He's still big, I'd say. Oh shoot, his eyes popped out. Okay. Sorry there, buddy. This is a really small fish. Oh, <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> the last fish of the school, you guys. <laughs> it's like a three inch bluegill. <laughs> yep, that's the last fish, last of them. Nothing there to eat. Come on, little buddy. That was the last fish in the school. I can't get him. Oh, oh, there he goes. I was gonna show you. I was gonna show him, you guys, but. <laughs> Got him this time. It's another, it's another small fish. It might be probably a bluegill. Yeah, another small bluegill. Yeah, I think I think all the fish, the big ones, are out of here. They've moved on somewhere else. I'm gonna go get the auger real quick and drill a couple of holes around here. Maybe they're just sitting somewhere else. Hey guys, I found I have found the school of fish again. Got him. <laughs> go straight into transducer. Oh, another big, big one. Another giant bluegill. Dude, they're massive. This is insane. Got him. It's another nice fish. Laying them once again. <laughs> That's seven. Oh, this guy's big. He is, holy cow. It's the biggest one so far. Jeez. See, right now, in every hole that I'm, I've been to so far, I'm seeing only little, little bluegill, little fish, any type of fish. But that's in every hole, they're all on the bottom, just chilling. So, I'm not sure what I'm actually gonna do. Cause I wanna find the school of fish again. Cause they were biting pretty nice, so. I might go get the panoptics to find exactly where the school is. Cause those are some nice, really nice bluegill. I'll show you them guys again. There's some nice bluegill right there. Two of them, and here's the, where I first found the school. There's four, and there's another one. So, I'm gonna go see if I can get the pan optics and... Yes. Oh, another bluegill. Nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one. That's a nice bluegill. Wow. About freaking time. At least <laughs> I'm not skunk. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Maybe. Fish on. Maybe I am. Varaz is going to be on it. That's the second fish. <laughs> so, guys, this is our bluegill haul for today. We've got 11 bluegill here. All of them are about 10 inches, maybe a little bit less. Some of them a little bit more. But yeah, I'd say it's pretty successful. And we're still gonna stay here for a couple of minutes, maybe an hour or so. So hopefully we catch some more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure to go check out our last video for the giveaway. Make sure to be entered in that. And I don't have anything else to say. See you guys.